I'm going to show you in this video a tool that allows literally anybody, even if you have terrible graphic design skills, to make a best-selling book cover in literally a matter of minutes. And to show you in practice, I'm going to take this terrible book cover and turn it into a significantly better one using this tool step by step. Now, the tool we're going to be using is Kittle. I use Kittle a lot on this channel and also in my KDP business because I just think it is one of the best tools you can have for Amazon KDP book creation. I will leave a link to Kittle down below in the description and also a discount code on screen where you can get 25% off your Kittle subscription as always. So this is the canvas that I put together to bring this new book cover to life. This is the original one. I don't think it's terrible, but it's not particularly good. It's going to be an incredible science facts for kids. Again, this isn't actually a book that I've got. I've just kind of made this up on the spot just to show you an example of how you can improve a book cover like this. Now, the first thing I recommend you do when you're trying to find a book cover is look for existing book covers on Amazon that look really good that you can take some inspiration from. Now, this is extremely important in this tutorial I'm going to show you because Kittle basically allows you to take any book cover and you can take the style of any of the characters or the text on there and bring it into your own one. Now for this example, it's going to be an incredible science facts for kids, but that doesn't necessarily mean I have to go and find a science facts for kids book on Amazon and take inspiration from that. It can be a book about literally anything as long as you like the design of it. So I actually found this book here, which is an interesting stories for curious children. Again, it has absolutely nothing to do with the book that we're creating, but I just really like how the design looks. And I especially like the way that these characters look. So what I want to do with my science book for kids is I want to have loads of different scientists on the front of my book cover in exactly the kind of same artistic style as they've got here. Now, previously, you would have to take this book, send it to an illustrator and then say, I want to have images kind of like this cost you loads of money and it would take loads of time, but you can literally do this in seconds using what Kittle call their smart boards. So to do this, all you want to do is go down to this kind of artboard section here and just draw an artboard over the design of the book that you want. Now it's worth mentioning here, I'm not saying go ahead and just copy people's books, especially don't go ahead and just copy this one, but take lots of different books and then combine elements that you enjoy of all of them and then put your own unique spin on them and apply it to your book. So I'm not going to create be creating an interesting stories for curious children book or have a cover exactly like this one. All I like about this cover is I just like how the characters look and then maybe there might be a cover with cool fonts that I enjoy that I want to take the fonts or take inspiration from those fonts on my design. So that's essentially how you come up with a best-selling book cover. Find really good ones already on Amazon. Don't just go ahead and blindly copy them. Take inspiration from different elements from different books, which ultimately give you a significantly better product. So I've just pressed this artboard button down here and drawn an artboard around this. So what you want to do now is put this actual image within that artboard. Go ahead and click artboard and then press smartboard. And what this smartboard basically does is it reads this image here and then you can give it a prompt that it's going to reference this image back. So for our science fact books, let's think of a scientist that we want to put on the front. Let's just go for someone like Albert Einstein, first one that comes to mind. I've just said create an image of Albert Einstein in the same style as the characters on this book cover. So what this is basically going to do is it knows I want to create an image of Albert Einstein, but I want to create it in the same style as the characters on this book. So we're going to go ahead and just press generate. And as you can see, here is our image of Albert Einstein, which is absolutely insane when it's literally taken a couple of seconds to do. It's exactly what we want. It looks like Albert Einstein and it's in a very similar style. It's not exactly the same style. We don't want exactly the same style because like I say, we're not copying these people, but we just want a style that looks very, very similar and really professional too. So this is the image that we've got. Now, if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and just convert this to image and put this on your design. But personally, there's a few things I want to change. I actually don't want any kind of background behind Albert Einstein, or maybe I didn't want to have these white borders there. If you want to go ahead and make more changes, go ahead and press smart board again, and then this smart board button here. And now the next prompt is going to reference this image. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, remove the background, which should hopefully just leave us now with an image of Albert Einstein. And as you can see, it has done exactly that. So in literally a matter of clicks and a matter of seconds, we've taken this design here and said, we wanna have characters that look like the ones on the front, but we wanna have our own characters. So let's create an image of Albert Einstein. Here is that image. Let's get rid of the background. So we just leave us with the character. And this is what we've got. So we're happy with this now. We're going to go ahead and just press convert image. And then we literally have our design ready for our book cover. You can go down to the tool section here and just press remove background. 
That's going to then remove the background and you can go ahead and press upscale to improve the quality of the image. And there you go. Here is our cartoon Albert Einstein that we're going to put straight onto our book cover. So let's just drop him into the main book file. Now, firstly, what we want to do is actually have um, a little bit of a background there. So I'm just going to go in and add a basic shape here, go in and add a square and then bring this to the middle of that front page. Send it backward and then change the color. We're going to go for, I quite like that kind of dark blue or kind of purpley vibes. So let's go with this um, as our background, kind of purpley space science here. I think that kind of works quite well. And then we now have our picture of Albert Einstein. Now it's worth just doing when you're making your book cover, change the opacity down a little bit. Once you're happy with the actual color you've got, so I'm happy with that purple, bring the opacity down just so we know that our elements are actually going to sit within, you know, this kind of white section here. We don't want it to be overlapping. Um, into any of the purple borders because it will get rejected by Amazon. So there's our first character. Now the next one, we're going to go ahead and create another one, go up to smart board again, and just say in exactly the same style, create an image of Charles Darwin. Again, just another scientist that came um, to mind. And here is our image of Charles Darwin, convert to image, again, remove background, and then you can drop him onto your file, make him a little bit smaller and then place him next to Albert Einstein. So there you go, there's literally the, the, the main characters for our science facts book, literally done in a matter of seconds. Now, if you wanted to, obviously Einstein is looking this way, maybe you want Charles Darwin to face the other way. If that's the case, and that's absolutely fine, we just go back up to the smart board, create another one and just say, have him facing left, not right. And there you go. It's taken exactly the same image and then just placed in facing the other way. And if you really wanted to, you go ahead and press replace the magnifying glass with a camera. Again, you're not going to use this in your design, but it just shows you how powerful this tool can be. You can literally edit whatever part of the image that you want to, to kind of meet the criteria that you're looking for. So here's this picture of Charles Darwin. We've got the original one facing right. We've then told it to turn so he faces left. And then we've gone and also told him to replace the magnifying glass with a camera. Or you can literally just have whatever object you want. It's actually insane um, how good this editing is. But this is the one we want to go for for our design. So we're going to convert this one to an image. We're then going to go ahead and remove the background. And then we're going to bring it on to our actual design. So we're going to get rid of this one where he's facing the other way and then just put him in here. Now, again, they don't have to be facing left or right. It's, it's entirely um, personal preference how you want it to look, but that's exactly what we're going to go for here. The book's going to cut off at the bottom. So these aren't going to look weird. There's not going to be like a blank space below them. So that's what we're happy with for our characters. And that is the big part of our front cover done. So next we want to go ahead and add in some text. So go up to the text section here and then press add a headline. And then we're going to bring this all the way into the middle and we're going to call this incredible. Again, this is what this one was called, incredible science facts for kids. And we're going to change the font something a little bit more attractive. So let's go all the way to the top and see what we've got. I quite like this um, font here. So we're going to go ahead and click that. We might need to make this a little bit smaller. So let's just go for 50, even smaller, maybe 40. Change the text color. Let's make this white. So there you go. There's the first one. Copy and paste. And we're going to go ahead and put science here. Now again, just general design principles. If you're trying to get across that your book is a certain thing. So this example, when someone's scanning our book, looking at it on Amazon, we want them to know straight away that it's a science facts book. They might see it's facts from the illustrations, but specifically science is the keyword here. So we want to make this as big as we possibly can and it stands out against the other parts of the design. So let's go for 60 here, pull this across. Let's see if that fits. That might not actually fit within the things behind. Let's go ahead and reduce the opacity. Actually, it's fine. As you can see, the science fits right in the middle and it's absolutely perfect size. Science, and we're gonna go ahead and turn this into kind of a yellow color, just like it is in the example. And that should also stand out nicely against the purple background. Incredible science. So straight away you scan this and you know it says the word science. You know this is going to be a book about science. So if you're looking for that, that's absolutely perfect. Incredible science. And we're going to go for uh, facts for kids. And then make this maybe a little bit smaller because I don't think this is going to fit on. Go for 20. Probably get away with 25. There you go. Incredible science facts for kids. And you can hopefully start to see this book cover take shape. Now, it looks a little bit bland. We've obviously got the text in there. We've got our main elements here. We want to fill up the rest of it with elements. Now, if I look at it, this right now, it doesn't scream science facts. It screams science. Obviously, you've got our scientists here and the big word science, but it doesn't necessarily scream facts, aside from the fact that you can see the word facts in there. So I want to add in a few more elements. Just like this book has done here, you know, with the rocket, with the ship. 
We want to add in some scientific elements here. So again, that's not a problem. We're going to go back up to the smart board here because it's going to be the reference we want to take. We like this style of image and we want to make exactly the same style for the other elements. We're going to say in the same style, create a, an image of a light bulb lighting up. Because again, that's kind of this idea of, you know, you've learned a fact, you've learned something new, the brain is activated. Light bulb is very much associated with facts and it's also associated with science, which is kind of even better for this book. So here's our image, our light bulb from Smartboard converted into an image. Go ahead and just press remove background and then just take our light bulb and paste it into here. And then just take our light bulb and we'll put it somewhere on our page. We're not really too sure where we're going to put it now. We're actually going to make this a little bit smaller and just put this as one of the elements that we're going to put around our design. Now, actually, one thing I do like about this one is I quite like this um, kind of banner here, which tells you a little bit more about the book. So what we can do is go into Kittle again and then just type in banner. As you can see, we like this one. We're going to go ahead and use this banner for our book, make it a little bit bigger, and then we can put some text in here. So we put something like incredible, Facts, make this a lot smaller. So incredible facts that, and then transform. We want to make it a little bit of an art. So make this custom here and we can select how much curve we want on the art. So we're happy with this. Let's bring this down a little bit, bring this to there, pull this down just so it looks neat and tidy and pull this one all the way out there. Incredible facts that uh, we're going to say you never knew before. There you go. There's that part of the design. Now, this copywriting actually isn't particularly good. I'm just kind of putting something in there for the example of this video. You could probably think of something a little bit better than that. We can change the color of this illustration so we can make this, you know, kind of a, a red so it kind of stands out nicely against the background. So incredible science facts, incredible facts that you never knew before. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually change the text here from the one we've already got. But for this example, we're just going to keep it exactly as it is. So I've actually gone ahead and just changed that font. It stands out a little bit better now. So incredible science facts for kids, incredible facts that you never knew before. So again, that could be improved a little bit, but we're just going to put that in for the example. And now we just need to fill out the rest of this space behind. So we've got our light bulb in here, but I've got a pretty good idea of how we can fill in this space here. So we're going to go back to our light bulb and then just press smart board, turn this upside down, upside down and have it hanging. So we want to take this exact light bulb, we want it to be hanging with kind of a piece of string or whatever it is that a light bulb hangs from. There you go, that's exactly what we want. Go ahead and press convert to image. Again, remove background. We might lose a little bit of this glow, which is a bit of a shame, but we can actually make those changes later on. So let's just take this light bulb and then let's get rid of this one. We don't need this anymore. And we're actually going to go ahead and put this into our design and we're going to have this light bulb hanging down from the top because it just kind of indicates a science and also this idea of facts and knowledge. Now we actually want to go ahead and add some glow to this light bulb here. So what I'm going to do is go to a Chrome extension called Colorzilla. I'll leave this link down below in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. And what this basically allows you to do is take a color of any of, uh, you know, a part of your screen, go ahead and press that and it's going to copy the hex code to our clipboard. Go in and add a basic shape, go in and add a circle. We're going to go and put this right in behind our bulb. So it actually sits behind the bulb. What we're going to do is we're going to go to shadow and then we're going to go and put a shadow and have exactly that color we just copied. So put that in there, have that as our shadow. And now this circle here is going to glow with a little bit of a shadow. So you can go ahead and change the offset of how you want the shadow to look. So we're going to make this central and we're going to make the blur, you know, stand out a little bit more. Just like that, we might need to make it a little bit smaller. So do that and then place this where the light bulb is and then just move it behind. And now this light bulb actually has a little bit of a glow. It's quite hard to see, but if you zoom in, you can see there is definitely a glow to this light bulb and it does make a difference on this design. So we're happy with that. One thing I will say is because our cover is purple and it's quite dark, you can't really see the string from the light bulb. So what we're gonna do is just make this a little bit lighter. So this actually stands out a bit more now. So we can actually see this here. Let's just move this down a little bit. Let's just change the order of this. So it actually hangs, it doesn't hang over the top there. So we've got our light bulb now, it's actually flashing and we've got our scientists here. Slightly lighter background color, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and fill this in with a few more elements. So we're gonna add in another smart board here. So we're gonna be referencing this image. Keep the same style, but create an image of a test tube. Gonna go ahead and copy this and then just press generate. Go back to this smart board again and create another one. Put this in and then changes to Bunsen burner. I'm just going to slowly build in more of these kind of elements that we can drop into our 
design. So we've got our test tube, we've got our Bunsen burner, and we've also got a Petri dish. You know, you can add as many of these as you want to, but for the example of this video, I'm just going to include these, convert all of these to images, and then we can use all of these on our actual design. So highlight them all, bring them over to our file. And now we can kind of litter these across the design just to fill in a little bit of white space. So let's take this test tube here. Again, all these things just reference science. So the minute someone sees our design, they know exactly what it's going to be about. They know it's science and they're just kind of, you know, subconsciously reinforced to the, the customer with all these little things related to science that are dotted around. So we're going to move our Petri dish and we're going to go and put this down here. And then we're going to add in a little bit more test tubes. We're going to take the same one here. Go ahead and press smart board again change the liquid to red. Again, it's going to be exactly the same thing, but we're then just going to have red liquid in it this time. And you can see just how powerful this smart board feature is. I don't know if any other tool even has anything close to this, which is why this is so good for Amazon KDP. Copy this one, remove the background, and we'll stick it somewhere in our design. I'm actually going to put it up here. We're going to move the Bunsen burner over that way and have the test tube there, just so we don't have test tube next to a test tube there. Um, so you can see these elements and this is starting to come to life. Now this background still looks a little bit bland. So what you can do is you can add in things like stars are a really good way to kind of scatter around. As you can see, this one's done here with the stars here. Some like, uh, you know, gold stars, some silver stars, and also some elements, you know, uh, I think this is meant to be like a moon kind of shape. But I've actually had the idea of something we can put in our background. Rather than just having, you know, a block, you know, uh, square that we elongate to make our background, we can actually use Kithful to create a space theme background because ultimately space is to do with science. It's this similar kind of purpley color. And I think it would look really good on our background. So all I've done is I've gone to this smart board here and then just said, uh, obviously this is the red liquid in the test tube. I've then just put a smart board and all I've asked is using the same style, create a background image of space and it has given us this image here. I don't necessarily want there to be too many elements. I just want it to kind of be the background stars. So in this next smart board, I just said, remove the planets and clouds, just keep the background and the stars. And this is what it's given us. I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an image and then pull this all the way over to our design. And I think this could look really good on the back of our book cover. So we're going to go ahead and move this up a little bit and then send it to the back and see how this now looks. Now, as you can see, this looks significantly better because not only is this kind of blank space filled in behind, it's also related to space, which is, you know, to do with science. So again, just reiterating this idea of it's subconsciously telling someone that this is going to be about science. Now, this white now looks like it's a little bit harder to read because it's mixed amongst some other white colors. So if we go ahead and just change this one, let's take the hex code of this science and maybe we make this yellow as well. Incredible science facts for kids. So again, that just stands out a little bit more. So I'm actually really, really happy with that front cover. And as you can see, it just looks significantly better quality than this one. Yes, this still looks okay. You might get away with something like this. I personally don't think you would in most niches, but how much better does this book look now? If you're comparing this one to this one, and you have a choice between which of these two books you're going to buy, you are going to buy this 99 times out of 100 because it just screams that the actual book is so much higher quality and it's better value. Then to just finish up the design, I would take this background here, copy and paste it, and then just stick this on the back of the book. And then you can kind of do whatever you want to with the back um, you know, cover of this book. And this is essentially now what our book is looking like. We've taken it from here and it now looks like this. So if I put the two side to side, as you can see here, if you had a choice between which of these two books you're going to buy, they're both exactly the same idea. They're both science facts for kids. Which of these two designs do you think is better? And do you think customers are A, going to click on, B, trust more, and C, therefore buy more of? It's an absolute no-brainer, even if they're exactly the same on the inside. This book is going to sell significantly more than this one because it's a much more professional looking book cover. And this is something you would potentially have to pay a graphic designer or an illustrator or a book cover designer hundreds of dollars to make. And we've literally made it in a matter of minutes using Kittle, which costs us less than $20 a month.